Kuranga Homa on today's video in conjunction with New Zealand being the 11th nation to go into space we're going to be looking at matchstick rockets today so matchstick rockets and propulsion now this is an example we're going to let one off in a second but I strongly recommend that you do this with a parent I don't adv advocate you doing this by yourself in any way shape or form um, because you'll be using we'll be using matches but we'll also be using candles and fire to basically let them off so if you want to try this experiment you need to get a parent okay so this is our matchstick rocket and we're just gonna let this one off stick around and I'll show you how to make it Okay, for this video, we're going to need some tin foil, one packet of plain old beehive matches, a bamboo skewer, a candle is helpful and also a little bit more safe than using just matches, and you'll see why later. Um, I recommend using uh, some kind of multi tool, uh, a flathead. Um, sorry, needle nose pliers with uh, wire cutters in the middle would be would work just as well. Um, super glue, our trusty friend quick fix and a pair of scissors. The scissors basically you just use those to cut out your tin foil it makes it a lot easier than ripping it. So what we're going to start off with is we've got some matches and all we want from the matches is the head, the head of the match. Okay, I give myself a little bit of room because if you cut it too close to the top what tends to happen is the match head actually breaks and shatters and it doesn't work as well okay so that's it there sorry that's all I want off the match now what I do now is if you see this in a couple of other videos you'll see that um, they really work there's like a set pattern and things but I found that this works just as well using my method that I'm about to show you here so you line up the match head Okay, I'm going to use this as a pointer because it helps. Um, you line up the match head going up. Okay, so the match head and the the remnants of the matchstick need to be in line with your skewer. It needs to be facing this way. So the matchstick needs to be facing up. Okay, if you face it the other way, it's not going to work. Okay, you need to trust me on this. Mr. Ashley's tried all these things to make it easier for you, so you don't make the same mistakes that I made. Okay, so I've just rolled it up. And then I'm going to give it a twist at the top. Okay. It helps to pinch the matchstick as you go so the matchstick doesn't move out of place. Okay. And give it a bit of a twist as well. And it's going to look like that. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to crimp the top with my uh, pliers. Now, in terms of rocketry, rocket science, <laughs> rocket science with matchstick, matchsticks, we, what we're trying to do is we're trying to trap the pressure of our solid fuel into the nose cone of our rocket so this is our rocket this is the body of our rocket okay just give it a gentle twist and it should come off okay now when when you twist it up and roll it up you want it to be a snug fit okay that's nice and snug okay because we're trying to trap all of that pressure as I said in the top part so it shoots off okay that's the idea okay if it's too loose all the pressure will escape out the bottom of our the body of our rocket if it's too tight, the nose cone will blow the end off the um, the rocket. Okay, and what I'm, when I say blow, I mean it'll just make a hole in it and it'll just make a pop sound. But what we're trying to do is obviously shoot it off. So we're up to that stage now. Back again, guys. So you can see I'm using a large candle. It's a little bit easier to direct the flame with a large candle underneath my um, rocket. So here we go. We're going to launch the rocket. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you from a bit further away so you can actually see how far they go. So 
So guys, you can see that that was a fun and easy experiment to do. Um, obviously it's quite dangerous because you're using fire and matches and things like that. Um, and I don't advocate, as I said right at the very beginning of the video, that you cannot do this by yourself. You need to do it with um, adult supervision. Uh, thanks for, to Shay Letherby for suggesting uh, this experiment to the channel. Um, but if you've got any ideas or suggestions that you'd like me to try uh, as experiments or crafts, um, please put it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit like. If you like the channel in general, hit subscribe. And um, for now, it's Kakite, and I'll see you on another episode of Mr. Ashley's Place.